So the question is, should men date women that have a bad boy past? Oh, that's the question. <laughs> mm. You're brave enough. <laughs> Why not? You're stupid enough. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who said Wait, that? No, nah, I, I said it. So I said, oh, okay, okay. I said if you if you're stupid enough, then yeah, go for it. Like, yeah. but no, nah, not more so than anything. If, date who you want. More so, you just understand that there are consequences for dating women that have chosen to make those decisions. And if you're able to live with the consequences, kudos to you. But more so, you should understand that you won't like the repercussions of what. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is gonna come out of that. I guess it depends on if they've healed or not. Yeah. Like Absolutely. <laughs> they probably I was just about to say you can have a bad boy phase because mm -hmm. you're going through something, maybe you're young, you've got issues. People mature, people grow, like mm -hmm. women grow, they change. Hmm. So is a bad boy phase the same as a whole phase? Um balance me what is what yeah but the problem is this is this is the issue that a lot of men find themselves in mm -hmm. is the girls really wanted the bad boys they just accepted the the uh, the nice guy because they couldn't lock the bad boy down and yeah, really that's who they want to be with is it or is it just Maybe you have trauma and this person that treats you like shit, you're like, oh, I'm so attracted to him. But it's because your father Stop was him. disapproving of you. And so you want this person that rejects you. Mm -hmm. That's Maybe, a very specific. Well, I mean. I <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Well, I think women are attracted to traits like they're, they call it the dark triad trait. Mm -hmm. So women are attracted to traits that are like negative about mm -hmm. guys because they're also positive. Like the guy, like why, why, do, why do we date guys that punch holes in the wall? It's because the same guy that is super aggressive, like maybe towards us and just in general, can also protect us. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's like a double. The same okay. guy that treats you like shit. It shows that he thinks highly of himself because he can stand up for himself. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so what a lot of guys find, they said, twenty to twenty-five percent of marriages are sexless. And typically, it's the woman That's holding it. Like guys want to have sex. Yeah, but is that because she's repressed? Because women are either demonized for being sexual or they're taught hydrosexuality, you need to be more than that. Repressed. You think they're repressed if, in a marriage? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. Why, why are they repressed sexually? But how, why would you be repressed in a marriage? Because, You're supposed because to consummate you, and consummate and because consummate marriage. Because you could be brought up in a family where sex is very taboo. And as mm. a woman, you either ne you need to be more than pretty. But I feel but like, but even in like, say, we take the Catholic married? Church or Islam. Mm -hmm. Once you get married, you're supposed to be. Why do you get married if it's okay? I'm not exposing myself, but like, if like for what other reasons are you getting married if you can't freely express yourself sexually with this person? Like, what are you trying to achieve? Like, what's the goal? Chop, 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 chop. <laughs> yeah. Contraception. So I don't really understand that one. <laughs> Yeah. Every day. Uh, yeah. The message is always like, wait till marriage. I feel like it's not, they're not like, don't have sex but at all. But it's also like, don't be sexual outside of marriage. And if you grow up, with someone saying like, cover yourself up, oh, don't put yourself on display, don't, don't express yourself in that way. We think all of a sudden when you're married, you're going to be like, oh, I'm this wild, sensual woman. No, you're going to be like... I think it could like, be. Yeah, they, they do say, because they say nobody gets uh, married quicker than two horny Muslims or two yeah. horny Christians. Because <laughs> you want to go and do the job that you've been suppressed. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't think one. women are suppressed in society at all. I think we're actually rewarded for being sexual. I mean, you get more followers on Instagram, you get more DMs, you get, you can make money on OnlyFans. And the, even when people try to shame women and say, hey, that's, that's hoe behavior, they're they're, they say slut shaming, mm. so they'll shame men for shaming women. Okay. So I, I don't really think women are, uh, you know. But then even if you are in on Instagram or, or mm -hmm. being whatever, you're slut shamed or whatever mm -hmm. you're doing, mm -hmm. just because someone is doing that to you doesn't mean that you are then more likely to get married. What do you mean? Do you, so if you're very promiscuous and open about it, 
are you going to be married? That's true. You're correct. You know? Probably so not. Women that tend to be married perhaps are more traditional mm -hmm. and would hide their sexuality, be a bit more covert and, and portray this image of like... Purity. Yes. Yeah, especially that came, um, yeah. Especially it depends on the environment that you're in as well. Mm -hmm. Your background, your culture, everything has a factor on that as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like that would also, like that kind of home training would also be associated with being like submissive to your husband. Mm -hmm. So then the sexual side would come into it when he initiates it. But that doesn't mean you feel comfortable in your sexuality. He might want to go all the time, and you haven't learned to express yourself. You are, in if, that way. if it's the right guy, you wanna you wanna have sex all the time. Every girl has had a guy that she wants to have sex all that the time. That doesn't mean that's the one you marry. No, I know, but that's the point. That's why. That's why. Like that's oh, the okay, whole point okay, okay. is no, because because okay. you're marrying no, no, no. yeah because you're <laughs> okay. marrying the guy that you're not that attracted to, and so like basically the more partners a woman has, the less likely she is to have a happy marriage. So if someone has a bad boy past, like she's less likely to be satisfied in her marriage because if you're a virgin when you get married, you have an 80% chance of getting a, into a happy marriage after 10 years. If you have had sex with more than five people, which I think most men pray for nowadays, <laughs> and, um, is, it, it drops down to 25%. Okay. And so I think that's why historically we've always protected women and like tell them to like not be sexual outside of marriage because the bond like the bond is so strong for women during sex. We release a hormone during sex that men don't. Well, it's, it's kind of, I don't know, novel to hear like another woman, Pearl in this instance, referring to um, that whole telling women to not have like a lot of sex outside like a marriage as protection because yeah most recently we've heard it you know being worded as some other thing but anyway oxytocin yeah and and the more you have sex with people the less you release it's like a defense mechanism basically oh, wow. yeah that's interesting Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Um. Please let us know what you think in the comment section. But yeah, do they? Do women really love bad boy trauma? And first of all, what is bad boy trauma? And can somebody heal from it? Like, how does somebody heal from bad boy trauma if they now want to move on? Like discussing marriage to get married to like a more reserved type of guy who's not a bad boy because obviously the bad boys aren't trying to get married in any case so yeah please let me know guys follow just pearly things just pearly clips links in the description don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you for watching